Hi, welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the outro. So if you make an IP sales agreement, most of the time you have an intro body and an outro. You're going to talk about those things and I'm going to show you some things that you can do when you create an outro. So let's go to the contract. And the thing is, here you see here, this is the contract. And here you see the headings and survivor, all the stuff. These are, I'm not saying they are not important. What I'm saying is that when you look at these things, these are standard things you need to have in it. If it applies for your situation, you put it in. If it doesn't apply, you just remove it. It's that simple. But what I found really important is the covenant law. Most people underestimate this, but this is really important. And please don't do this wrong. Because when you look at this, it's important that you have the correct um, country. So let's say we have A and let's say we have B, right? So let's say we have A and we have B. The problem is A is in country, let's say in the US, and B is in the UK, right? The problem with this is when you have a contract, so let's say we have a contract here, which law apply? The law in the US or the law in the UK? And that's why you need to put in the government law, most time you find that in the outro, so most time you can find this in the outro. It's important to put, okay, if I'm B, I'm going to say UK apply. If I'm say I'm A, I'm going to be like US apply. Why do I do that? The closer, the closer this is to your home, the closer this is to your, where your company is, the better. Because you know how the, country, the law works in your country. You don't know the laws in the US. Same apply if you are an A. If you are A and you do know what, how the law in the U.S. work, it's easy for you. But you do not know how it works in the U.K. And that's why you say, okay, you know what? I want the U.S. A lot of ones say, I want the U.K. If the person knows about this and you argue, you can be like, hey, you know what? We let the International Civil Code um, decide this. That's something you can also do. Or there are other, other, other options that you can do. But... If the other person doesn't know about it, feel free to do this. Seriously, feel free to do this. The reason I'm saying this is because if you're B and you need to go to the U.S. court, it costs a lot of money. And you don't want that because you need to hire a U.S. lawyer. Also, you need to have a U.K. lawyer in order if you don't understand how the contract works. And you don't want that. That's something you need to keep in mind. But if you're both in the same country, you can say, you know what? The law of the U.K. apply. That's simple. So that's why I think the government law is really important because this is the gate. If you cannot go to the judge, it's going to be difficult for you to get your point or get whatever you want. Because someone, let's say um, there's a contract breach of A and A is in the U.S. And then B, A will be like, yo, I don't care. Uh, you cannot sue me because you do not know the law in here in the U.S. And that's a problem for you if you are B. So that's something you need to keep in mind. That's why I find it really important that when you look at the government law, it's important that you put in, okay, which state or which province or which law apply to this, to this contract. And then you have the signature, it's obvious, and then you have some attachments and things, country of, yeah, where the copyright is, those things you put it in. These are standard things. When you read it, you will understand how it works. If you want to, if you want this contract, what you can do is just go in the link in the description. You can just download it if you're a member on the website for a small price or for a small price. And if you if you're no member, you can just buy the contract and then you can get a legal consultant if you really need it. The thing is, we have a Discord. In a Discord, you can create a ticket, explain the situation, and then me or one teammates will help you to solve the problem and see what we can do for you it's that simple so if you're new to this channel and you like this kind of video subscribe seriously subscribe it's for free when you subscribe you subscribe you help me a lot and if you like this video like it i hope you guys like this video this series of videos if you have questions feel free to join the discord and i'll see you in the next one bye bye